Hi, it's Kathleen. How are you? It's a little, little overcast today. A little cooler than it has been. So we're fortunate for that. It is time for Pilates. It's a Thursday um, early evening. I've got two cats and one dog with me. And I guess they're all ready to kind of zen out. Um, you'll want a mat and you'll want some water. Um, I have t uh, some iced tea tonight, but whatever you have is great. We just wanted to stay hydrated. Um, being barefoot, I always forget to say that. You do not need shoes for Pilates. We have another um, minute or two, maybe just another minute. So we'll see if anyone joins us. So we are on the Siegel JCC Facebook live stream. This class is live right now on Thursday evening, but then it gets archived to the Siegel JCC um, video library. So you can, you can watch this anytime you like. You can, um, you can watch any other videos that you may find here. Um, I just thought I'd let you see the dog and the cat are, are just ready to go. So we've got a few of you here, so welcome. And let's just begin. We begin with our standing energy. Do your best to take that great big breath in right up through the soles of the feet, lengthening through the spine, filling up the lungs. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and away. Wiggle them out if you need to, if you've been sitting at that computer just way too long. Just give your body a little stretch, a little wiggle, a little jiggle. <laughs> and then let's bring those feet about shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward. Do your best to evenly distribute your body weight from the right foot to the left, from the front of the foot to the heel from the inside of each foot to the outside of each foot. Do your best to evenly distribute that body weight. Bring those hands along your, the sides of the body with your thumbs forward or your palms forward. Take that great big breath in. If you're ready, exhale. Just feel your chin slowly sink down toward your chest. Pause here as you continue to breathe. Nice, deep, Full breaths. As you exhale, take the right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Little pause here. Inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. Then keep going, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And then feel your chin sink down to your chest. Big breath in. Exhale as you take your eyes to the ceiling. Inhale, bring those eyes back into alignment. Exhale, just take a sneaky peek over that right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Little peek over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. As you exhale, just let that right ear drop to that right shoulder. And then back up. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. And inhale, back up. Oh, so nice, right? We're just moving in all the ways that our neck moves. So our neck does rotations, lateral flexion and extension, vertical flexion and extension. And so we just try and do all of that. 
And those little neck exercises are great for you to do if you get stuck sitting way too long, whether it's in a, in a car, on an airplane, at your desk. Big breath in, exhale. Once again, inhale, this time lift the arms up. Exhale, palms to the ceiling. Inhale, lift the arms up and overhead. Bring your palms together, reach the whole length of the arms as you exhale. Just take just an easy side bend to the right, sorry. Inhale up, exhale, reaching through your fingers, easy side bend to the left. Inhale up, exhale, release those arms. Turn the palms to the floor all the way down. And then if you need to, just find your center, center down again. When you're ready, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, bring one foot to the inside of the opposite leg. As you exhale, extend those arms overhead. Sorry, I have moving cats. Big breath in. Exhale as you bring your hands together. Exhale, bring those arms apart, still reaching through the tips of your fingers. Big breath in through your nose. As you exhale, bend at the hip flexor, extend the bent leg behind you. Increase the bend in that weight-bearing leg. Try and align the shoulders, align the hips. Neck aligned with your spine. Focus on your breath, nice and strong through those deep core belly muscles. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale back to standing. Beautiful. Bring your hands together at your heart. I'm just going to turn to the side. Inhale, bring changing feet. Bring one foot to the inside of the opposite leg. Exhale, extend those arms overhead. Now again, you know the deal here. Just lift that foot as high as is comfortable for you. Exhale, bring those hands together. And then apart. Inhale, exhale, bend at the hip flexor, extend the bent leg behind you, reach the arms out to the sides. Allow those fingers to reach, the toes to reach, neck aligned with your spine, hips aligned with each other, shoulders aligned. Nice and strong through your core, maybe increase the bend in the weight-bearing leg, reach through the toes on the extended foot, big breath in, exhale back to standing. Take a few steps right here. Push the heels of the hands against each other, the palms, fingers, pads of the fingers and thumbs. Begin to push, push those hands away from each other, roll up onto the balls of the feet, press the arms back, stand up straight and tall, little pulse here, two, three, four, Inhale deeply through your nose as you exhale, push those hands back and back, turn the palms to face each other, squeeze two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again, two, five, six, seven, eight, big breath in through your nose. As you exhale, press those palms toward each other like you're compressing air between the hands when you can't exhale any longer, inhale, release. Those arms will just kind of magically float up, bend at the elbows. Now inhale, reach, stretch, come up on those tippy toes, bring the arms forward, press the hands back, lift those toes. Turn the palms to the ceiling, big breath in, reach, stretch, bend. Inhale, rise up on those tippy toes, exhale, bring those arms down and down, press the hands back, and then let the arms relax beside the body with your thumbs forward or your palms forward. Again, just find your center. Maybe bring the focus to the center of the forehead. Think about your body position. Think about your breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. As you exhale, feel your chin sink down to your chest. And then just fold just do a fold over, just bring the upper body over the lower. Stay, keep the upper body close to the lower body, rounding through each vertebra of the spine. Let yourself hang like a rag doll. With 
each exhalation breath, feel the top of your head get just a little bit closer to the floor. As you exhale this time, increase the bend in your knees, tuck the chin to your chest, begin to roll up slowly. Now you can always use those hands to walk up your thighs, round through your low back, your middle back, shoulders, neck, and head. Roll those shoulders back. Let's roll one shoulder forward and then the other. Inhale, lift both shoulders up. Exhale, roll both shoulders back. And then again, just center. Maybe bring that focus to the center of the forehead. They call that the third eye chakra. Focus here, think about your breath, think about your body. Take that one more, two more stretches. Maybe you just need a nice sip of water. And shake it out. You're gonna move to your mat. I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see my, my feet. So you want to come to the very top of your, of your um, mat or your towel or your piece of carpet, whatever it is that, you, that you're using to give yourself that little bit of cushioning. And then you're going to line up those feet toe to heel. Good job. If we could just relax like our pets, right? They just let everything go and they just... Let themselves breathe. Inhale, lift those arms up, shoulder height. Bend at the elbows. Inhale, lift the heel on the back foot. And as you exhale, just begin to bend the knees. If you need to put down a hand, a knee or both, go right ahead. Try and engage those core belly muscles. Scoop out through your belly. Move to a seated position. Relax those arms on your knees. Up. Gently rock side to side. I'll adjust that camera in just a moment. Little gray cat decided the, the windowsill was a better spot. When you're ready, stabilize here. Bring those feet shoulder width apart. Hands, try and line up feet, knees, shoulders. You already know that, I know. Big breath in, lengthen. Exhale, shoulders down and away. Big breath in. Exhale, feel your chin sink down to your chest. Scoop out through your belly. Bring the hands to the backs of the thighs, pulling that navel up and into your spine. You're pushing those shoulder blades toward the mat. Just an easy pulse. Two, three, four. Five, six, let's raise that right arm into the air. Nice C shape with the body. Now raise the left arm into the air. Let's pause here. Hands to the backs of the thighs, giving you just a bit of support. Inhale, bring yourself up back to those sitting bones. Now lengthen, shoulders down and away. Big breath in, exhale, chin to chest, scoop it out. Look to your belly, one hand in the air, both hands in the air, no hands in the air. Whatever works for you is perfect. Let's do eight more pulses. Three, two, pause here, big breath in, lengthen through that spine, sit up straight and tall, roll the shoulders down and away. Good job, Cody. Big breath in. Exhale, let your chin sink down to your chest. That should feel good. Big breath in. Exhale, round through that spine. Hands to the backs of the thighs. You went from your sitting bones to your tailbone. And now to that low back. Little pause here as you breathe. And then exhale all the way down. Shoulder blades come down. Head down. Look to your left. Look to your right. Back to center. Now actively tilt the pelvis, imprint that low back. Now if you're like me, you may need to bring those feet in, the heels closer to the body, but not 
not changing the width, the distance that those feet are from one another. You wanna keep the feet parallel to each other. Feet, knees, shoulders still lined up, nice pelvic tilt. So it's not a neutral back, it's actually an engaged core. So let's remain here for just a couple more breaths, just centering down. Still not good, I'm so sorry. You know, I do try these things out before I turn the camera on. That might work. So if you're ready, inhale, draw one knee into the chest, and then the other. As you exhale, push your knees toward your shoulders, Press those thighs toward your belly. Now, I tend to look at the camera for some reason. In my mind, it makes me feel like I'm looking at you. Um, and it also, the mic is over there, so it helps me to project my voice. But I want you to align that neck with the rest of the spine, the neck and the head. So you're looking straight up at the ceiling or slightly forward. Pull those knees in a little closer. If you need to rock side to side to stretch out your back, of course do that. If you need a more dramatic stretch, of course do that. This is all about you. This is your time for self-care. Really, that's what Pilates, Pilates is. It's, it's self-care. Big breath in through your nose. If you're ready, exhale, extend those legs into the air. Little sanding of the inside edge of those feet. Inhale, exhale, stabilize the feet, lift your chin to your chest, look to your belly, hands to the backs of the thighs, lift the upper body a little higher, lower those legs a bit, balance yourself on your tailbone, palms to the mat, begin to slap water from the shoulder, look to your belly, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, pump, 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 inhale, two, three, <laughs> exhale, two, three, four, five, Inhale, your shoulders are up, your head is up. Exhale, right at your belly. Inhale, try and keep those legs straight. Exhale, pump, pump, pump. Inhale, reach through your tippy toes. Exhale, pump those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, shoulders up, head up. Exhale, look right at your belly. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, two more sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Last time, bend those knees, round through the spine. Take it on down. What happened to Zen? Cody, Cody boy. Come here, walk around. Jump, walk around. Hug those knees in. As you exhale, bring one foot to the mat and then the other. You know, prior to class, he was in the upstairs in the guest bedroom and he was just sleeping quietly. And as soon as he heard me start to set up the, the, cam the tripod, he came running down to do Pilates with us. As you exhale, lift your chin to your chest, look to your belly. Peel yourself up, sit up straight and tall, extend those legs round and reach. Inhale, round through that spine, slide those feet in, scoop out. Only go back as far as you need to, listen to your body. We really do over intellectualize things with Pilates. I always feel like it is such a, a smart workout because we are actively engaged in the entire exercise. We are not putting our brains on hold and just moving mindlessly. We're really focused on what we're doing. We're moving in time with our breath. We know when we're inhaling. We know when we're exhaling.
very precise, very controlled. We're building that deep core strength to support our spine. We're creating mobility, which makes us feel better, but it also allows us to avoid injury. Even if we do something like turn and lift at the same time or step on uneven pavement or a slippery surface having strength and mobility in those deep core muscles really ch can change everything for us in fact it can keep us from twisting an ankle so Yesterday I was out walking in Alapolcus and I was doing a little rock hopping over the little creeks and the rocks were mossy and my foot slipped and I was able to engage that deep core strength and keep from twisting my ankle or wrenching out my back. And I know it's all because of Pilates. Last time down to the mat or toward the mat. Last time back up as you inhale, really filling up those lungs. Exhale, round and reach and pause here. Let those fingers reach. Let those toes reach for the wall in front of you. Actively engage those deep core muscles, okay? And as you exhale, feel those arms sink down to your legs, rolling off the legs and onto the mat. As you inhale, tuck your chin into your chest, drag those heavy arms with you, rounding up shoulders, neck, and head, roll those shoulders back. Oh. Shake out those arms, shake out those legs. Getting a little warm here. Slide those feet in, sitting up on your sitting bones, big breath in through your nose. Exhale, chin sinks down to the chest. Slicing hands out over your knees. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale again. Move in time with your breath. It's all about your lung volume. Scoop out a bit more. Focus on the exhalation portion of the breath. Last one. Reach forward, find your rope, pull yourself side to side so you have to work your obliques, you have to work your lats, Bring your hands below your kneecaps, exhale, tuck that chin to chest, pull it back. Feel that nice stretch from the base of the spine to the base of the skull. Wiggle out those toes. And then inhale, it's like a little tug at the top of your head, lengthening your spine. You're up on those sitting bones, walk the feet in, wrap the hands around the front of the ankles, lift one foot and then the other. You're a good boy. Heels together, knees together, actively push those legs toward each other. Inhale, exhale, chin sinks down to the chest, scoop out through the belly, pull those heels in, hold here, or exhale, tip, inhale up. Exhale, little tip, inhale up, third time. Do your best to maintain this tight little ball shape. Do your best not to over rotate. If you do over rotate, just reset your position. Begin on that tailbone and tip. Last one, exhale, tip. Inhale up, little pause here, big breath in through your nose. Exhale, push the toes into the air. Now I'm just holding on to the backs of my thighs, but if you want to extend one leg, excuse me, if you want to extend one arm or both arms into the air, go right ahead. If you're ready, straddle those legs. See if you can walk your hands up past your knees. Hold on to the calves or even move closer to those ankles. Do your best to maintain this angle from thigh to torso. Hold or exhale, tip, inhale up. You decide how far back you go. 
You can go to your shoulder blades if you wish, but not to your neck or head. We'll do just a few more. Look to your belly. Last one. And pause. Keep your hands here or raise one hand in the air. And then switch or swap. And as you exhale, bring the soles of the feet together, heels, balls of the feet, toes, wrap the hands under and around those ankles. Inhale, click your feet together three times. Exhale and tip, click, click, click. Inhale, lift. One, two, three, exhale, tip. Again, you can always hold the position balanced on the tailbone, engaging the core. But if you choose to um, choose not to rock, can, go ahead and move those feet. So I'm keeping my elbows away from my thighs. I'm creating a lot of instability here. And in my effort to maintain my positioning, I'm building deep core strength. Last one. Bring it on up. Click, click, click. Nice job. Bring one hand up, palm to the ceiling, and then the other. Lift the arms from the shoulders. Bend at the elbows, fingers and thumbs. Press your heels, balls of the feet, toes against each other. Think about those muscles that you're using to maintain your positioning. Deep C shape with the body. Stay in this moment. And then inhale, lengthen through the spine, roll up onto the sitting bones. Pull the feet in, heels to the mat. Little pulse right here. Roll one shoulder back and then the other. Just roll one shoulder back and then the other. Inhale deeply through your nose. As you exhale, stabilize those knees. Take your nose down toward your toes. Inhale up, push those feet away a bit. Exhale, take your chin toward your heels. Inhale up, extend those legs. Give them a nice little shake. Shake out the arms too. Get that blood moving down toward the tips of the toes to the tips of the fingers. I've got to figure this out. And then slide those feet in up on your sitting bones, big breath. Exhale, chin to chest, scoop it out, hands to the backs of the thighs, slow down the descent, low back, middle back, shoulder blades down, head down, look to your right, look to your left. Nice job. Nice little pelvic tilt. Now again, feet parallel, heels out in front of your knees, knees nice and strong, straight up to the ceiling. Imprint that low back, but at the same time, press those hips into the mat this time. Push your low back, middle back, upper back into the mat, neck and head aligned with the rest of the spine. When you're ready, exhale, slide the right leg away from the body, point the toe, inhale, lift the right leg straight up into the air. Now your left knee is gonna keep you honest. It's gonna remain immobile. As you exhale, bring this straight right leg even with the bent left. Take the leg out, around, and up. Exhale, straight leg even with the bent. Out, around, and up. Now if this is a bit too easy for you today, maybe bring those arms just a little closer to your body. Narrowing that base of support. Little pause here as you flex your foot. Then point the toe. Flex that foot. Point. Inhale. Exhale. Toes um, toward the nose. Sorry, toes to the nose. Leg goes out, around, and down. Exhale. Toes to the nose. Leg goes out, around, and down. Now that left knee remains immobile. You feel that little stretch at the hamstring as you bring the toes to the nose one more time. And pause here. Flex your foot, point your toe, flex and point. 
And then inhale, draw this left knee into the chest, push the, excuse me, draw the right knee into the chest, push the left leg away, hands to your shin, little pause here. Again, try and keep that neck and head aligned. Maybe press the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Focus on that, on that breath, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your nose if you can. This time as you exhale, extend the right leg into the air, create that double straight leg stretch. Flex the foot on that right leg. Hold here as you breathe. Relax the foot, draw the knee into the chest once more. So I'm actively pushing with my right hand, I'm actually actively pushing this right knee toward the shoulder. Then I move the left hand to the outside of my right knee. I feel my right shoulder sink down and get stuck to the mat. Big breath in through your nose. Exhale, gently pull this right knee over to the left side. Now, Naturally, I want to look toward that right shoulder. I want you to optimize the stretch by moving that knee a little bit. Find that place. Do you need that stretch in the glute, in the sacral area, more in the hamstring? You decide. Hold here. Breathe through the stretch. And then inhale. Let's open this up sole of that left foot to the, that right foot to the inner thigh of the left leg left hand to your left hip bone right hand to that right inner thigh add some pressure as you exhale and then return your right foot to the mat and gently rock side to side And pause, nice little pelvic tilt, point the toes, inhale, lift the left leg into the air, nice. Now push your hips into the mat, reach through the left leg, through the left foot. As you exhale, left leg even with the bent right, leg goes out around in a half circle, very nice. And again, you decide on the positioning of the arms based on how challenging you need to make the exercise this evening. Maybe bring the arms a little closer. Maybe don't even allow yourself that support from your hands across the body. That right knee keeps you honest. Pause here, flex your foot, point your toe, flex, point. Inhale as you point the toe, exhale, toes to the nose, leg goes out, around, and down. Exhale, toes to the nose, leg goes out, around, and down. Again, focus on that right knee if you need to. Let's do one more. Leg into the air, pause here, flex and point. Relax your foot, inhale, bend that left knee, draw the left knee into the chest, slide the right leg away, hands to the shin, and you've got just a little pressure here, just pushing that, that left knee toward the left shoulder pressing the thigh to the belly, feeling the stretch on the top of the thigh of the right leg. As you exhale, extend this left leg into the air, create that double straight leg stretch. Flex the foot on that left foot and breathe. Relax your foot, inhale, draw the knee into the chest again, adding that bit of pressure. Then slide that right hand to the outside of your left knee. Left shoulder sinks down and gets stuck to the mat. Big breath in through your nose. Exhale, gently pull the left knee across the body. Again, you can optimize the stretch. And then hold and breathe. And then inhale, let's open this up. Sole of the left foot to the inner thigh of the right leg. Right hand to that right hip bone. Left hand to the left inner thigh. As you exhale, apply that little bit of pressure there. And then release. Return that left foot to the mat. Gently rock side to side. 
And then when you're ready, let's go right into our shoulder bridges. Tilt your pelvis, imprint, palms to the ceiling if you like. And then lift those hip bones. You can feel the strength. Exhale, slow down the descent. Again, feel the strength. Tilt up, feel that stretch. Lift, strength. Exhale, lower, strength. Just take your time, turn your focus inward. Listen to your body. It's gonna take several, maybe more than a few repetitions before you truly warm up these deep core muscles, warm up the glutes, the hamstrings for this particular exercise. Just take your time. Again, turn that focus inward. Make this all about you. Move in time with that breath voice. Let's do two more. On this last one, let's tilt, tuck, lift, and pause. Now you're holding your position, but not your breath. Continue to breathe. Exhale all the way down. Tilt, tuck, imprint the low back, and pause here as you breathe. As you inhale, actively imprint that low back into the mat. As you exhale, hollow out that belly, let the belly sink into your spine. If you're ready, bring one knee into the chest, and then the other. Exhale, push the knees toward the shoulders, thighs to the belly. As you exhale, push the knees around in a circle. Keep your low back stuck to the mat. Inhale, draw the knees in. Exhale, push the knees in the opposite direction. Again, keep your low back in contact with the mat. Be aware of the stretch and strength of this exercise. Last one. Bring those knees in. Exhale, extend those legs into the air. Flex your feet, point your toes, flex and point. Now you're gonna rotate those feet. I'm just giving you the illustration with my hands. You're gonna rotate those feet on your ankles and then you'll reverse it. So let's go ahead and do that. Try and spread your toes as you do this rotation. Reverse direction. This is great for relieving the effects of plantar fasciitis or never getting plantar fasciitis. So nice little thing, then give yourself that little shake, that wiggle and a jiggle, get that blood moving. Bring your feet together. Now I'm gonna adjust the camera just a bit so that you can see my feet maybe a bit more. Hey Sharon Brown, how are you? I miss you. So we're gonna bring it up just a bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see my toes. And what we wanna do is that vertical lift. So remember, it's not a rocking motion, and yes, it does feel awkward, but it's a vertical lift, and it really is very effective at strengthening those deep core muscles. So here we are. I've got my palms to the ceiling, arms are close. I can press through those hands a bit. Here we go. It's lift, 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 lift. Five, six, seven, flex your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Point your toes for four. Flex for four. Point for two. Flex for two. Now singles. Point, flex, point, flex. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job. Shake it out a bit. I know that feels like we're not doing anything, but it really is a very effective exercise and I think in its awkwardness it teaches us a little bit of body awareness. So hopefully you were giving yourselves a nice little stretch there. We're going to go right into the teaser. Walk those feet out just a bit. Nice pelvic tilt. 
Inhale, <clears throat> excuse me, inhale, lift those arms up, palms face each other. Exhale, bring your arms even with your ears. Now be sure your low back is pressed into the mat right now. Feet pressed into the mat, toes pointing to the wall in front of you. Arms framing the ears, fingers reaching for the wall behind you. As you inhale, lift your chin to your chest. Just take your time. Come up as far as is comfortable for you, but not farther than your tailbone. Exhale down, low back contacts the mat first, then the middle back, middle back, then the upper back. Inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. This is a lot more challenging than it appears. Scoop out. I think if anyone were to sort of observe us, they would think, well, that looks pretty easy, pretty straightforward. But it really isn't. And scoop out. Let's slide that left leg away. Inhale, chin to chest, lift both arms and the left leg. Pause here, left foot to the mat. Inhale, right leg in the air. Now scoop out, low back contacts the mat, middle back. Beautiful, inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. Exhale, right foot to the mat. Inhale, left leg into the air. Now scoop out, really focus on low back contacting the mat first. Inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. Left foot to the mat, inhale, right leg in the air. Scoop out, move in time with your breath. Inhale. Now both legs in the air for a moment. Right leg comes back down, scoop out. Now at least for me, perhaps not for you, but for me, that focus on getting that low back to contact the mat first was the greatest challenge for me. And again, inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. One leg up, then both. One foot down, scoop out and lower. Let's do a few more of these. If you want to go to level four, remember that takes tremendous core strength and you lower both legs and arms simultaneously. Then you slide one in and you go back. Both legs up. This is level four, do not feel obligated to go there. Level five, once again, tremendous core strength. As you inhale, you lift both arms and legs together. You pause as you breathe, and then back down. So level one was with both knees bent. You can always hold on to the backs of the thighs, and we scoop out level two. One leg extended, bringing it on up and pausing here. Level three was both legs up for a moment, then one foot back down, scoop out. This is our last one. Inhale, chin to chest, lift and reach. One leg up, then both. Reach the arms a little higher, scoop a little deeper. Three big breaths. Slide the hands to the backs of the thighs, bend the knees, round through the spine, draw the knees into the chest as you inhale. Exhale, push the knees to the right, eyes and arms to the left. This is our, this is our prize for doing those, um, those teasers. Inhale, draw the knees into the chest. Exhale, push the knees to the left, eyes and arms to the right. Now I know I've elevated my heart rate a bit, um, elevated my respiration a bit, but we are gonna do another exercise to, to specifically do that, to focus on that. So let's hug the knees in. Exhale, lift your chin to your chest. Extend your left leg, fingertips to the base of the skull, shoulder to opposite hip bone. It'll look like elbow to knee, but it's really shoulder to hip bone. Now lift your, lift your shoulders a little higher, tuck your chin a little closer, inhale. Exhale, left shoulder to opposite knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, a little faster. A little faster, stay in control. Now as quickly as you can and maintain that control. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Hug those knees in, shoulders down, head down. Look left, look right. 
Inhale deeply through your nose as you exhale, roll to one side. Use your hands to push yourself up onto all fours. Hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath those hips. Toes pointed to the wall behind you. I've seen, I see a couple of things from time to time with people kind of putting their toes against each other or crossing over or maybe bringing their knees in nice and close. So you want to try and get those knees under your hips. Hands, heels of the hands I would suggest under your shoulders. Rather than going wider, because that puts a lot of pressure on the structure of the shoulder, maybe bring the hands narrower, ideally directly beneath the shoulders. But if you're going to air one way or the other, bring them a bit closer. Let's inhale, lift both feet up. Exhale, extend your right leg, left arm. Arm is about shoulder height, leg is about hip height. Inhale, reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. Exhale, return palm and knee to the mat. Keep the feet elevated. Exhale, extend that left leg, right arm this time. Focus on the alignment of the shoulders, the hips. Neck aligned with your spine. Big breath in. Exhale, return palm and knee to the mat. Feet sink down. Hips to your heels. Bend the elbows. Drop your head down. Inhale. Nice little rounded cat stretch. Up. Exhale to the cow stretch. Inhale to a tabletop. Push your hips to your heels. Drop your head through your arms. Inhale, tuck chin to chest. Exhale, eyes to the ceiling. Inhale, bring one elbow where that palm was, then the other. Push those feet back. Curl the toes under. Bring yourself right into that low plank. Hold here. Focus on that breath. Nice and strong through your core. Knees are soft. Not bent, but just a soft joint. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale, melt the knees to the mat. Soften the feet. Belly down, chest down. Slide the backs of the hands beneath the forehead. Relax your feet, your ankles, your knees, your hips, all the adjacent muscle and other soft tissue. Relax the low back, the middle back, upper back, shoulders, neck, head. And remember, you want to put, place your forehead on the backs of your hands. If I do that, it probably will sound like I'm mumbling. So I kind of turn to the side. But in terms of alignment, this is really a nice, this, I think Pam calls it crocodile pose. This is just a good little pose here. Inhale, lift your head up just an inch or two. Pull those elbows in nice and close. Keep your lower body relaxed. Inhale, full cobra up. Take your time. Walk the eyes down the length of that wall. Right back down to your mat. Inhale, move through those first seven vertebrae of the spine. Keep those hip bones on your mat. If you, I've noticed, this is something else I've noticed. I noticed some people slide their hands back um, behind their shoulders and then they push way up and they lift their hip bones up off the mat. This is a yoga move. This is called an up dog. That is not what we're trying to do in Pilates. In Pilates, it's all about the extension of the spine, creating that strength and that mobility. So we want our, the heels of our hands in front of our shoulders. We want the lower body completely relaxed. And then we want to just focus on the extension of the spine. Let's do three more.
remember to keep that pace consistent. And then all the way down, slide the backs of the hands beneath the forehead. Feel the upper body just grow heavy and still. With each exhalation breath, you feel your body just sinking a little bit deeper into the mat. You feel the mat just sinking into the floor. The floor is sinking into the earth and you feel safe and secure. The earth has made a little nest, a little cocoon around you, and you can just let go and relax. Just move to stillness. Keeping that upper body heavy and still. Inhale, lift your legs from your hip bones. Give yourself a slight release. Inhale, lift both legs from your hip bones. Slight release, third time. Lift up, little pause here. Slow flutter kick. Two, three, four, five. A little faster. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four. Now, if you'd like to extend those arms, and move the arms in opposition to the legs. You certainly may. We're gonna do um, four more sets of eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, if you're moving those arms, you wanna be sure to continue to look down at your mat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and let it go. Sink into the mat once more. Relax the lower body as well as the upper body. And then we're going to go into a Pilates style cobra. So you want to be sure those legs are about shoulder width apart. Tops of the thighs resting on the mat. Knees resting on the mat. Tops of the feet resting on the mat or the floor. When you're ready, inhale, lift your legs from your hip bones. Extend those arms out in front like a superwoman, superman pose. As you exhale, sweep the arms back, arc up. Bend at your elbows, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, sweep back, arc up. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, sweep back, arc up. Keep those legs elevated. Move in time with your breath. You have four more to do. This is one of the few exercises where I'll say, if you wanna go a little faster than your natural breath voice, go a little faster. So it's three more. Two more. Last one. Exhale. Bring it all the way back. Pause here. Look to the ceiling. Feel that tautness in your belly. And then exhale. Release. Nice job. Whew. As you exhale this time, slide those feet together so that your toes touch, your heels touch. Bend at your knees, cross the, at the ankles, recross the ankles. Slide the hands beneath the shoulders this time, not in front, but beneath the shoulders. Elbows are up off your mat, pointing to the wall behind you. Look down at your mat. Engage those abdominal muscles. Think about the muscles of the arms, the chest, the shoulders. Inhale, use those muscles to push yourself up into that bent knee plank. Position the hands directly beneath the shoulders. Again, if you need to bring them, if you're afraid you're too far apart, bring them a little closer. Better to bring the hands too close than, to, than too far apart. Pull those heels in. When you're ready, exhale, little hinge through the elbow. Inhale back up. Neck aligned with your spine. Two. Three. Four. Recross those ankles if you're ready. Neck aligned with your spine. Try not to droop through your head and at the same time, try not to arc up through your neck or head. Let's do one more. Pause here, pull those heels in. Elbows are soft. Big breath in through your nose. Feel the tautness in your belly. One more time, big breath in. 
Exhale, release the feet, push back through the, hip, the hips, bring one knee onto the body, then the other. Sink your hips to your heels. Slide one arm away, far away, bend that elbow. Slide the other arm away, far away, bend that elbow. Drop your head through your arms, look toward your kneecaps. Inhale deeply through your nose as you exhale, slide your hands down to your toes, palms to the ceiling, or gently cup the soles of the feet. Allow your feet and your hands to become heavy and still. Let your ankles and your wrists relax, your elbows and your knees, your hips heavy and still. Feel your shoulders sloping down and into your mat. Your head is heavy and sinking into the mat. Just let everything go. Let's remain here for three deep breaths. As you inhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Begin to round up through that low back, middle back, pushing yourself up onto those knees. Shoulders, neck, head. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and away. Now I'm going to move in just a moment to a seated position. You can remain on your knees. In fact, if you want to pick your feet just an inch up off that mat, bring the arms out to the sides. As you exhale, lift the left arm, lower the right, bend at the elbows, try and get those fingers to touch. So again, I'm going to sit so, you can, so we can actually see each other. Release the bottom arm, bring it around, give a gentle push. Now if you're like me and you're seated here, be sure you're on your sitting bones, engaging your core. Arms out to the sides. This time the right arm rises up, we bend at those elbows, fingers touch. We want to continue looking straight ahead. Whether you're on your knees or seated, you still want to look straight ahead. Release that bottom arm. A little push here on the muscle, not on the joint. Inhale, both arms come up and overhead. Exhale, bring the arms down. Now everyone should move to a seated position. When you're ready, bring those arms all the way up, grasp a forearm, give a little tug. Hey, Cody boy. Inhale up, exhale. No, no, Cody. Cody boy. Come here, come. And release, shake out those arms. Shake out those legs. Now if you like, you can recross those ankles and we're just gonna focus on our breath for a moment. Big breath in, reach those arms up. And exhale, backs of the hands to the tops of the knees. If you feel your mind wandering or you feel distracted, <laughs> just make a focal point in the center of each palm. Remain here for three deep breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. This time as you exhale, allow those eyelids to flutter open. Look straight ahead, maybe pick out a point on the, on the wall or on the floor. And just turn that focus inward. Think in a affirming thought about yourself. And then take that great big breath in. Eyes follow the hands up and up, reach. Exhale, push through your forearms, bring it on down. Once again, big breath in, reach, stretch. Exhale, push through your forearms, bring your hands to your heart center, drop your chin to your chest. Two deep breaths right here, just for you. And 
Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. It means so much to be able to do Pilates with you, even if we're far away from each other. I know one day we'll be back together, but we need to continue to connect um, over, over social media. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay dry. I will see you soon.